is all the boxing in this will be connected to the final video but I'm just doing this bit to show you how I'm gonna have it right. I've built that up <coughs> so I've got a large container in the bottom that goes virtually from one end to other end fuel containers will go there this end will have the filter, the funnel and a box with all little knickknacks in that need to be done with eating I've taken the eater out of the box because this way it will be so much easier to do any maintenance on it uh, it's going to be at a slight angle so that the right hand side there is pointing over to this side and the left hand side when I go through that breeze block it's a bit on the tight side but it won't be such a tight curve you know what I mean but there I've just whopped a couple of angle brackets into the wall and that's as low as I could get it uh, that's about it I need to cut out I need to cut that out there there I need to cut that out so ducting will actually come through it then put wire mesh on the outside that will be cut out and wire mesh over outside as a just somewhere for air to come in and I will be putting a pump and something else no the pump will be going on that wall there somewhere and I've decided the power supply will be inside the cupboard that's it for now because I'm still waiting for the delivery I'm waiting for the ducting and I can't get it's a waste of time doing all else before the ducting arrives because I have to go under floorboards which means dismantling most of the living room but that's it there's the frame foot door That'll just go in there. That'll just go in there. Piece of plywood that got cut out for that entrance. That'll go onto the front of it, and I'll probably just paint that. But that's it for now. But we have to protect against the mice because we live right next to big fields. And there's mice and rats and all sorts come down right i've now put that on no mice at all we're going to get in there i've moved the tanks up to this end that will now be the air coming in to this box off section there's the three-way valve fitted there the fuel pump is down there if I step back the two feeds whoops where am I that one should go to this one and that one should go to that one this top one here that feeds out down into the pump the pump will then feed over the top of the inlet pipe underneath and that's the fuel inlet right, I'll give you an update when I've done a bit more right I'm back again the pipes are in and I'm ground to one out again word to the wise buy a crap load of Jubilee clips because there's 20 Jubilee clips there 
and I've bought every one that Alfred had and I am now missing two for that section and two for that section but I forgot it needed an air, uh, a fuel filter so fuel filter is in now but all the fuel system is in I just need Jubilee clips for that side and that side of the pump and that's me up to scratch this that'll go through that all there and down the bottom down here that's I'm gonna have the exhaust going through there somewhere but I've still got some of that wire mesh so I'm gonna cut a little all out of the wire mesh and the exhaust will go through it that way mice won't be able to get through the big gap that I'm going to cut because I don't want the exhaust next to the wood because of the heat from setting it on fire so I'll cut it all through there and any heat that's radiated from the exhaust onto this wire netting should dissipate before it gets to the wood well it's got two choices it does or it doesn't and another little update the door is now on it just needs painting and I will get back to you probably we're in but on Sunday now it's gonna be at least Tuesday before they get the Jubilee clips in and I am still waiting for the ducting right I've come up against a slight issue I've fitted the air intake but the exhaust pipe is going to be at the same height as that there the bottom of the boxing in which means I'm now going to have to take those brackets out and lift it so that the exhaust will have enough clearance through there at the moment I would have to drill an all right down at the bottom there and the heat from the exhaust would no doubt set fire to the wood so I would have to lift it up which means it's going to throw everything else out on that side uh, fortunately I've already made that all higher so I'd be able to get the ducting in so I might just have to extend that a bit but we'll see how it goes right I've now raised it up maybe an inch and a half but as you can see the exhaust is just clearing the bottom there so I'm gonna have to get some of that heat stuff heat bandage for exhaust but now it's brought up the other problem that I would have had that's the height of the heater that's the height of the air brick so now it has to come in oh can't do it because it I'm doing this on my iPad but it has to come in where I'm at from there with a sharp bend down and over so I think I'm gonna to have to knock out or drill out this top corner here that'll be the best place for that to go in otherwise I'd have to tilt the heater which would probably end up trapping fuel in one end of the burn chamber so that's what I'm gonna have to do get rid of where am I get rid of that corner there I'll drill an all to do get some exhaust bandage and then I'm a step closer right it's the next day and I have now cut the two cars out that's the one where the eating will go in 
Uh, but yeah, that is the air brick that belongs in there. Hold on, where am I? There. But when I started doing that, I only had that one, the tungsten carbide. What a pile of shite. Three quarters of an hour, I was working my way through it, and I got maybe, well, let's tilt it, I got just over halfway using that in about three quarters of an hour, and I had to push it that hard that I pushed the air brick out. So this morning, I went and bought the diamond. The diamond one did it in maybe 10 minutes to get this one and the other one done. So whatever you do, you're drilling through air bricks, do not cheap out and buy one of those because you will regret it. Get that one. Granted, I only needed one at that length, but I couldn't find one of those. And I wasn't going to wait to eBay. So I went to, ended up getting it from B&Q. The ducting has finally turned up. So what I'm doing now is if I go into where that thingy bit's going to be, that. I've drilled a pilot hole from here through into the cupboard. And I'm going to do the same to that. Then I will start drilling from this side, go about halfway in, then go back out here and finish it off there so I end up with a perfect hole going all the way through and then I'll do the same with the other. Right, these are the depths of the bricks. So if I go in that far from one side I'll take it to there, that will be virtually the centre of the brick that will be cutting through. So I just need to cut the depth of this scribe in there and I am now, whoops, where are we? It's gone all dark. Right, I am now near enough halfway through at this side. And I shall go to the other side and do the same again. I almost forgot to allow for the plaster. The plaster goes in. Hmm, how's my tape measure? I reckon it's got to be over a half inch. The plaster goes in two, two centimetres. So if I take that to the maximum on this side, then go at the other side and do the maximum, that should just reach in the middle. If not, a couple of taps with a hammer and chisel and that'll sort it. I forgot to mention what I'm doing is that is the uh, tungsten carbide whatever it is that's got the drill bit in the middle this one done so what i'm doing is starting it with that and once it's into the brickwork i can then go in with this one this one's a lot faster but the drill bit for inside that would be massive right. this side is now well over the halfway mark so now, let's come in here, oops, see if I can video this a little bit, then I'm there. <laughs> then with the, this one, in the pilot hole. and chomping its way through the brick 
there's a sliver of brick there that I can now put the other one on and just go all the way through <coughs> and doing it this way means that you don't get a, a blowout the other side because if you did it with a big bit all the way through by the time you got to this end you just rip a big chunk of plaster off and that is what shouldn't have happened it cut through but it dropped so I have to go around the other side give it a tap on it that bit or oh, where am I that bit there was still connected so it pop a bit of plaster out that, that won't make no difference because I will be having a boxed in section coming up and over the piping that one's done and when it's actually finished that's what it'll look like and this is one of those where you can which way I'm at you can move them round to an angle or if you want it all going into the living room just shut it off Right, I'll crack on with the other one and show you when I've finished. Right, this is where I need my little helper. Ah, uh, you can see the cables coming down there. I think that's where the wire is going to come down. Then it will feed through up and all that should be somewhere around here. Over, no, back down and then out through the cloud breeze box over there and that's where the shed is right i'm gonna have to cheer you off until i've got this bit done right there's the wire coming through and there is going to be two holes here right go on drill and a little helper Back out. Right, I'll feed the wire up, then make that loop and pass it back down again. Right, the cables are now threaded through the breeze block, all tacked up. They're the two. What do they go to? Oh, they go to power supply, the white ones. And the black one goes up that side there, which will be the other side at cupboard for the controller. And down there, you can't see it, but hold on. Down there, it goes up to the socket. So the wiring for down here is done. I've just got to go get the insulated ducting out of the loft and then start working out where the pipes are going to go. Uh, that spanner hands. Then, yeah. that spanner hands, that spanner three fingers. Right, so, well, all the floorboards is done. It's all uh, ready through, insulated. This one goes to the left hand side of the cupboard. The old one over there goes to right hand side. This chugs along merrily and goes out through that air brick. But chances are I'm going to need another two metres of ducting. Yeah, I need another two metres of ducting. I've got it all coming from that side. But the bit that's going to be running for the air intake, I haven't got that. Uh, what it is, I ordered four metres and it never got posted. And then when I reordered, I only ordered one piece because they come in two metre lengths. But I'll also, you can't see it because I've took the exhaust, I'm extending the exhaust so it's going to be going two metres down there and it will finish here somewhere and I'm going to box all this section from here 
all the way down the back because that's going to be insulated all that ducting so I'll be extending the exhaust so I've got to wait for that to come um, right into the house it's got a bit dark right oh no right, there's the controller so the controller's there That'll be boxed in, that'll be boxed in. So I come through there. And that's the one that goes through into the bottom. And where am I? There's the power supply. Comes down there, underneath the floor, and then it pops out there. And that white wire is that one there. That is the power supply that will be plugged in it charges the heater right we are now on Wednesday so it's just a matter of waiting for more deliveries and I'll add this bit to rest of the video right the two wires caught there I never remember what this thing's called but these two here there the power in and this is the 12 volt out if i pull that down you can't see it i also forgot to mention that whilst that box there can go all the way up to the back wall this one i have to keep it away because that oh where am i this wire here is the wire for the shower so i need to have a gap so that the boxing in and heat from the ducting don't affect that in any way shape or form but it's getting there slowly but surely i'm sorry for it being such a long video but between delays in delivery it just seems to be going on forever